okay, so we're just leaving Dimbula on a crisp Saturday morning and it's very foggy, it's like pea soup. Look once the sun comes out, a bit chilly, heated gear on. Onward. Alright, we're just coming through Daswell's Bridge past the uh, ridiculously ugly giant koala and the sun is out as you can see a lot better than it was back a bit bits of a way uh, a quick break in Ararat just outside the Gum Sand Chinese Heritage Centre about to head off the Western Highway to Avoca the sun shining through the crack of the sky. It's all good. Just turned off the Manila ship and road down whatever this is, Stony Creek, Broken River Campground. Now, the bush, it's like a dark, the sky, the sun's disappeared over the, the well, the earth spun actually, and uh, to the bit where we're not looking at the sun. So we'll go up here and uh, see if we can get a campsite. Many of that fucking wayside stop, or the weir thing. No. So you just pull up, don't you? You just go somewhere, don't you? And he comes in the water. Well, that's what happened last time we here, but he was also. Where do you want to go? Just over here? Uh, away from the people with the rocket. Oh, here? I don't know. I'm old, mate. Oh, there's a log over on the right, just in here. Uh -huh. Gotta go there. Okay. Tall, it's a bit of a walk, but. Yeah. Oh, there's any wood. <laughs> okay, well, so we've been here about, I don't know, about an hour or something like that. You probably can't see me. So in that time, we've managed to put the uh, tent up in the dark. We've lit the fire over there. And chopped up some dinner, got that going on. Made cuppers. And, uh, yeah. Just uh, making things happen. In the dark, and tomorrow we're going to go for a ride around the Alpine region up there. Woo yeah, so here we are uh, just outside the Vanilla uh, Tourist Information Centre, and uh, bugger me dead if uh, there's not a claim here as well that Ned Kelly uh, toured this area as well. So we're going to add that to the list of all the places that, uh, that uh, Ned frequented. Banella. So after going to the Tourist Info Centre, which is just over there, we've decided that we're going to go for a, a ride, a motorbike ride to Bensfield, Whitfield, uh, somewhere or other else. We go around and then back down the Hume, back to Banella. Vanilla Mansfield, Melbourne. Mansfield, that's where we'll go. Over the Hume. Stopped here at Lake Dilakuti. Must be some sort of reservoir. Cause it's got a damn wall. Damn wall. 
people out fishing. There must be fishing here as well, I say. You're talking to me. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Uh, I didn't know if you were talking to me or talking to the camera. Yeah. Mansfield must be close over that way somewhere, I reckon. There's buildings and shit over that way. And Mount Buller should be in the backdrop. Maybe right off the distance with your camera can't pick up. Hmm. Nice spot. Yeah, that's quite a view, isn't it? This is from the back of, uh, on the way to wherever it is, between Mansfield and somewhere. Uh, but right over the very back there is some uh, mountains with uh, a bit of snow on. Right over. Oh, you can see it through there. It's quite a view. We drove right through the back of here somewhere. Yeah, cool stuff. Okay, just uh, coincidentally up at this lookout, there's some more Ned Kelly heritage. Um, Harry Power is someone that uh, Ned uh, met up with while he was in jail at some stage, and apparently was the inspiration to him at a younger age. And he taught him some tricks about things, including uh, getting together on a couple of, uh, what do you call it, hold-ups. Hold-ups. Yeah, so that's... Uh, Shrange rings. So that's uh, Harry Power, who uh, taught... Uh, Ned a few tricks. I don't know whether leaving your fire dumb was one of them, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> certainly, uh, yeah. But apparently, uh, later on, pa Harry thought that Ned dobbed him in for something rather, so he thought that, uh, yeah, interesting. And Ned Kelly's uh, grandparents live somewhere down at the bottom of this valley where the lookout is. Yeah. Here, there, Ned everywhere. Coming back from uh, out the back, we Mansfield, the back way there through the mountain stuff. Just uh, got some fuel down the road here. Uh, just in a little town called Glen Rowan. Uh, yeah, it's not quite a nice little town. It's got some shops and things, uh, antique places and souvenirs and things like that. And uh, of course, Glen Rowan has a particular sort of claim to fame, uh, which sort of comes to people's mind. And it's sort of uh, yeah, it's a uh, yeah, that. Ned Kelly, of course. Another Ned Kelly town. Of course, Glen Rowan is probably more renowned for Glen, uh, for Ned Kelly than any other town. There you go. Another Ned Kelly. Uh, so we just head back from Bonello. We just went to the supermarket, grab some stuff for dinner. But I don't know if you can see it in the bloody mirror there, but I stopped to pick up a gum tree branch with a heap of leaves and dry stuff to uh, help kickstart the fire to the that. The wood gets a little bit damp this time of night, it's a bit hard to light so I grab some dry stuff. Let's see how that goes. Bloody beautiful sky tonight. Look at that. Woo. Anyway, there's the uh, sticks that I took 
Not so the road, the branches. In there. Alright, cool bananas. Ah, so we put the fire going. It's all good. With the sticks and stuff from earlier. Cooked dinner. There's a, there's a proof of the pudding. Having a bit of a, a stir fry, so to speak. More, we had a stir fry last night, so it's a bit more of what we normally have. Mixture of uh, meat and veggies. Good stuff. Keep you going. Riding all day. The dinner of champions. <laughs> yum, yum. Last night we had the fire, then we put um, a, uh, a hollow log on it, up, steady upright. And uh, it worked quite well, it drew the thing. So we've got another one tonight. We call it, we've nicknamed it the, uh, what was it? The, the Chooch Machine. It's the Chooch Machine or Chooch Pipe. It's Chooch Pipe, that's right. Chooch Pipe, yeah. So anyway, there it is there. That's the pipe, and there's bloody flame pouring out of it. Like a jet. Look at it. Blitz it. Absolutely blitz it. So there you go, that's the, the chooch pipe. <laughs> Monday morning, late start, <laughs> cold, light fire, drink cups of tea and coffee. <laughs>